guys and welcome to a new youtube video so in this youtube video i want to show you what i got for christmas and first of all i got one of the things i really wished for this christian dior sweater and let me show you because you think like oh she was for the monogram and she got the other one but no this one is reversible look here Ta -da! so the oblique is on the other side and that's why the tag is actually here so it's special i might have to cut off the tag but that doesn't matter it's really warm and cozy and i'm so happy then i got this chanel crop top it's a uh, cropped sweater i guess it's really really nice and i also got this sweatshirt i think you have seen me wearing it already because i have been wearing it since i got it for christmas i also got this chanel dress so this is a vintage dress how i got it is that i asked in the chanel store in geneva if some people that have bought this dress when the collection were wanted to sell it and i have been waiting a long long time to get a hold of this one so we finally got it and francois bought it to me for christmas and it's really really cool it's from the first like coco niege like coco winter collection that came out and i always regretted that i didn't buy it when it was in the store but now i have it okay then i got this cropped chanel tweeted jacket i think that you also have seen me wearing this one after christmas and we also had to buy it i mean the details are just so nice we also had to buy it in the summer actually because then the collection was out so i had to wait all the way now to christmas until i got it i could start to wear it so yeah i'm so happy uh, then i got this skirt it's really nice too no special brand but very nice and i got some ralph lauren socks and also this one that i also wait which side is it let me see up ah, this side also this louis vuitton um what can i say it's like a shirt but in some very stretchy material that i also wish for for christmas so that was great you guys know that i love to do cardio and this is the situation of my shoes i am like totally addicted to asic gel cayano it's the only running shoe i can use also to stay like healthy with my knees so i had wished just one moment from for a pair of new asic gel cayano and i got them so happy and then yeah then some strange things has occurred or first a very sweet thing a follower had knitted me a louis vuitton sweater and sent to me in the post and you can see here like i'm gonna compare it with a real one okay this is a real man sweater that i have cropped so this is how the real one looks and this is what she have done so it's a little bit different on the flowers but wow what a good job she has done and very very sweet of doing that and then something other crazy happened like we received um, a ups uh, or was it fedex came to the door and with a big package from something called the real real shipped from usa and we had to pay custom duties now like i didn't order anything from there and then a follower have like written me a love letter and bought me uh, some chanel stuff from the real real like we have gotten some kind of mats like this um two different hoodies they are quite used but sometimes stuff from the real real i think is used stuff a blanket from chanel and it was something else yeah a pair of like other mats i think and some pillows uh some chanel pillows which was very sweet but of course i'm not gonna leave francois for this person so i mean i just said thank you if i should send the stuff back but he wanted me to keep the stuff so i guess i'm keeping the stuff there and then i have something else to show you um yeah i already did a haul on my like christmas uh, vlogmas thing what i got for christmas in norway and then this is the new mascot for my new horse 
Tarugata. So this guy's name is Sven and he is from Frozen. Uh, I had to order him on eBay, but he's really cute. Uh, my new horse name is Olaf, but Olaf the Snowman Queen already have. So I thought that I would buy the best friend of Olaf that is Sven for Olaf. And that will be so cute when they go to shows together that we have both Sven and Olaf. But anyway, now I think I'm going to head to the stable because I'm also going to ride today. I'm going to do my cardio and I have some unboxing to do of, um, uh, what's it called? Uh, I, my new Capitalia helmet. So stay tuned. Okay, guys, now it's very, very exciting because I am going to unbox my new helmet from Cap Italia. And you guys know that I like to practice safe riding. So I never ride without a helmet. And my preferred choice for helmet is, is of course, Cap. Because Cap has five international safety warranties. And they are the only helmet on the market. I'm trying to get it out. I'm so excited to have that. Yeah, tape is very good, guys. Oh my god. <laughs> Okay, so I went a little bit different this time. Here is one box. Here is another box. Bye bye. Okay, so I'm going to start with this box. So every time when you get a cat helmet that is custom made, you get one of these amazing helmet uh, care boxes. So let's see. Ta -da -da. Ta -da -da. Wow! So I wanted a special helmet with some black and white to match my black and white uh, show outfit. And I wanted to go for a totally shiny helmet in black because my other shiny helmet is in uh, navy so i went to the polo racer the white strap some swarovskis some bling here and yeah my name flag and let's see what the other helmet is when it's really like ooh. yeah we are gonna use that one on show together okay this one is a special one i haven't tried before I don't know if it's gonna be awesome or semi awesome or not awesome at all. Okay, every cap helmet is awesome, but this one might be super cool. Ta -da! Ooh, what the? Ooh, that was a close one. So, this is a total white helmet, and I thought it would look so nice in the summer. I added a brown strap, some gold in the front, and some gold in the back. Excited! And here is a little bit closer look on them so you can see all the details what materials and design i chose and yeah i think they are both super cool Thank you so much, Cap. They are totally amazing. I started with riding Quinn and afterwards I rode Alfie and here is a picture with him and husband. Now I'm riding on Pixie. I'm actually just finished riding on him and Jennifer is riding on Leo and Hassan has been walking around with Jill. And before that, I rode Quinn and Alf. And you guys have been out in the forest for a walk with Prince and Duke. And how is Leo? Really good. Good, yeah. Leo is back because he's going to get sold. Uh, because in the stable where the, his owner, the girl of 13, Maxim, had him, the horses couldn't come out in like the paddocks or anything in the winter. So Leo is a horse that needs to be outside a lot and that made him very fresh. So now he's back here and looking for a new home. So that's awesome. And yeah, now I'm going to change to Jill. I'm just finished riding Jill. That has luckily been a very good girl. So all the horses have had like 
I would say almost two weeks or maybe two weeks of holidays. So when I put them back to work after the holiday, I make sure that I don't do too much. So I do a lot of first, a lot of trot and build them carefully up again. And then I start to gallop a little bit. So now all the horses are galloping again. Uh, Prince and Duke, they were ridden a little bit longer uh, before they had holidays. So they are also just started up. So they are not, they have not started to gallop yet, but Jill, Pixu, uh, Alf and Quinn are galloping again and we are going to train slowly to get them back in shape. What is the most difficult after their break is that their winter break are that it's cold and the horses are often very fresh. And when you just have to mostly do walk and trot and a little bit of gallop, they can be very wild and try to throw you off. And especially with the older horses, it's important that they don't get loose and do too much because then they can strain a muscle or a tendon or something. So. So far, uh, it has been going good. Nobody has fallen off and all the horses have been behaving quite okay. It was one day I had to like jump off Alfie and just stop that day because there were a lot of people in the riding house and he had like a nervous day. But the other days uh, so far has been going good. So anyway, that's all for this uh, YouTube video. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, drop a comment and subscribe to my channel.